Hello, Internet. This is Monday, July 27th, 2015, and we're here shooting an episode of Your Dinosaurs Are Wrong because we got a request from one Bronson Roca, who is a very avid fan, apparently. His friend George has a birthday today, and he wanted us to cover this dinosaur that he sent in and talk about... Um, its metabolism and whether it's a Brachiosaurus or a Giraffe Titan. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. But our turnaround on these dinosaur episodes is such that one month's warning is not really sufficient to get a full episode out and animated and edited and all of that. So we're just going to do the birthday greeting in the blog, which is this. Say happy birthday. Oh yes, happy birthday, George from Bronson, apparently, but also from all of us at the Geek Group. Good job, kid. <laughs> Are you ready? I am about as ready as I can be. There was a German paleontologist by the name of Werner Ganesch who led what is probably still the single largest dinosaur dig in human history in 1909 through 1913. Um, and he extracted hundreds and hundreds of bones from Tenteguro and brought them back to Germany. And by far the most spectacular of them was the Brachiosaurus. You can see it mounted in, in the Natural History Museum in Berlin. He assigned it to Brachiosaurus because to him, the bones looked really similar. And as a result, people have absorbed giraffe titan into their conception of Brachiosaurus. When you imagine the head and neck of Brachiosaurus, what you're actually imagining is giraffe titan And there was an American paleontologist who pointed out that Brachiosaurus is actually known from pretty scant material. We, we didn't have a head or neck. But it was kind of ignored. It was just said, well, we can't assign it to anything better. Let's just leave it to Brachiosaurus. It was in the late 1980s that Greg Paul actually called attention to how different the specimens are, and he decided that we would be better off putting bronchi under what's called a subgenus, and he called that giraffe titan. That name never really caught on uh, in the ensuing 20 years, because probably because the subgenus is not really used in dinosaur taxonomy all that much. Uh, it was in 2009 that we see. Let me go to that camera for that. Let me just figure out what this guy's name is. It was in 2009 that a paleontologist named Mike Taylor took a rigorous look at all of the bones that we can compare between the two specimens, and he found major differences in all of them which led him to conclude that Giraffe Titan is actually a separate genus from Brachiosaurus. And then, in 2012, um, a paleontologist coded them separately as separate um, phylogenetic units uh, in his analysis and found that Brachiosaurus is actually closer to a couple of early Cretaceous North American Brachiosaurus than it is to Giraffe Titan. So what are the differences between Brachiosaurus and Giraffe Titan? Well, the three of you who care about the specifics of the systematics between the bones have already read the study, so we're going to focus on the gross differences. Compared to Giraffe Titan, Brachiosaurus has a longer torso by about a quarter and a longer tail by a fifth to a quarter. Uh, it has shoulder sockets which poke outwards, sort of, they're oriented laterally, um, as opposed to Giraffe Titan, which has the more standard backward and down facing shoulder sockets. Now that's kind of weird. Uh, Brachiosaurus has something sort of a sprawled posture, it would seem, which is really unique for a sauropod, especially one that big. Giraffe Titan and Brachiosaurus both have really slender forelegs, uh, arms, 
uh, Brachiosaurus has the more robust of them, which leads us to conclude that Brachiosaurus was probably carrying more of her weight over her arms than Giraffe and Titan was. Did I talk about endemism in this take? The Tendaguru Beck. The Tendaguru dinosaurs are pretty cool because they give us a glimpse into what's called endemism. It's where you have different animals in different parts of the world. If, if you look at the Western North America today and compare it to South Africa and the wildlife in both places, they're very different wildlife. I'm going to do this over again because of the back. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> I mean, do we really need to say it, Stephen? That's not really relevant to this point. We've wrapped on the episode itself, but I'm going to do a quick pickup shot, and maybe two if I can. Um, the way that we brought in the dinosaur today was on a Hot Wheels car from a ramp going down the side here. Um, and I'd like to do an insert shot of just like maybe a high angle of it going like and put in a guitar riff in the edit. Um, not sure if we can do like an actual freeze frame of it coming off of the ramp, but we can do like it sitting up top the ramp and, and like, you know, looking all cool and stuff. So that's, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Forgot to blog the first take because I am dumb, but I have upped the shutter speed and raised the gain correspondingly. Hopefully it won't get too grainy because we've got plenty of light. Um, I have focused on this sort of middle distance between the brake and the ramp. So in theory, when it's flying through the air, because I did a test shot where, where I, it does fly past the camera, um, in theory we should be able to like freeze frame on it and get like a cool shot yeah. of the dinosaur flying through the air. So here we go. Did I actually roll? I did not roll. There we go. Really high tech assemblage here. We got a dinosaur gaff tape to a Hot Wheels car. Okay, how do I do this? And three, two, one. Let's find out. You guys will find out when you see the video. Ha ha ha. We're gonna do this once more at an even higher shutter speed and even higher gain. It's gonna be really grainy and kind of ugly, but maybe it won't be blurry when it flies past the camera. Did I roll? I did not roll. Rolling. This is starting to. There we go. All right. Okay. Um, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, dinosaur fell off halfway down. I point out that my brakes work. The the papers and the paper towel and the stuff catches the car, so we have that. We got that one. Ha ha! Brachiosaurus, or rather Giraffe Titan. I'm gonna do this again. Giraffe Titan skate video. I actually that that kind of turned out rather nice. I like that. Well, we'll see.
<laughs> Once again, happy birthday, George.